say to you is something I'm gonna crossroads right now. To put it more simply, it seems to be from a medical point of view, it's, I guess they say it's life or death. In short, I cannot continue doing all these uh, chemotherapies and everything else that comes along with the chemotherapy. Presently, they had me on another type of chemotherapy, but it would take my blood, white blood cell count down so low that it required them using another medicine called Neupogen to bring it up. Now, the Neupogen causes me to be additionally sick, nauseous, and weak. In addition, in addition to that, it causes me to have a, a restlessness in the brain, you know, where I feel mentally unstable. And it's one thing to deal with physical symptoms, but to have to deal with mental stuff is just asking too much. I don't know how much more that I can take. My life is in ruins. My credit is is, is ruined. Uh, this whole cancer thing and dealing with Social Security has pretty much ruined my life financially. I don't know how long, if ever, I'll recover. I'm supposed to receive payments starting in October, but I have no faith in the system. I can't even get money from my own retirement account right now because they make it so difficult. So things are just a mess. And the emotional support I, I need, probably as much as anything else, is, 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 is unavailable. And I don't give a goddamn who doesn't like what they heard here because it's just a fact. And they can run and tell whoever the fuck they want. I really don't care. You made me need to take some time and think about the other person. So that, that's what I'm going through right now. It's very scary because the doctors just say, well, if you get off a of chemo, you're going to die. And he says within six months. So my other option is, 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 is holistic means, uh, natural, <coughs> natural pathic remedies. And of course, the medical establishment it gives no support to these things whatsoever. Most of, these, most of them don't. They really don't. It's, it's horrible. You know, I'm here to tell you it is horrible. So you have to put your faith in something that almost seems like, you know, uh, 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 that from a witch doctor or something like that. Hell, witch doctors did heal a lot of people back in the day. I'm, in a sense, we're all dealing with fucking witch doctors, you know, dealing with these chemicals. And we know we, we know the chemicals are all about putting money in the pocket of the people who make the chemicals, the chemical companies, the ADA, the FDA, uh, uh, you name it, the AMA, it's all about fucking money. That's all it's about. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. It really is. And doctors even have their hands tied because the, the, the chemical companies control the insurance companies, all right, uh, uh, and have lobbyists and all this stuff, and they have all this money. That's why they try to get more money, just to protect their interests. And so the doctors are are pretty much pawns to these people. So you have to advocate for yourself. And when you have a very serious disease like the one I have, then you're faced with very serious decisions. And right now they have me such that it's just suffering all the time. And I'm not looking for your pity. It's not about pity. If you have an answer and you want to offer that, then that's cool. I'm not looking for your pity. This is information. You know, I started this saying, I want to inspire people, help people. Well, information is power, and it's empowerment. And if you know anybody who's about to go through this, start eating well. Start looking into the holistic means, you know. Your doctor is a human being. And human beings are led by all kinds of horrible forces. And if you're thinking, oh, man, this, look, he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown, and you're right. And maybe this is, in part, a type of a nervous breakdown. Well, with the bloodthirsty viewers, maybe they would like to see more, like somebody harm themselves on TV or, or screen or YouTube or whatever like that. We know how sick you fuckers are. Not all of you. The ones that have been there to support me, I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We know this society is sick. Sick. We have a sick leader. And we have a lot of sickness just going on. It's being fed and reinforced. And it's sickening. 
But um, that's who I am, you know. And much of the time, I, you know, a lot of times, I don't even care if I was out, I'm here anymore. You know, I have a son, and that's my responsibility, to give him the very best I can give him. And, and that means being present because we all have weaknesses and you need a mother and a father and maybe the father can offset some of the mother's weaknesses and the mother can offset some of the father's weaknesses and give a child a, a, a decent chance of surviving this fucking mess we call life. God gave us this and we fucked it up. You know, with help from the devil, but we fucked it up. Fucked it up bad. You know, with, with the greed and egos and need for money and power and all this. We fucked it up real bad. And it's not looking good because compassion, is, as, as I can see it in my 55 years, is, is probably at an all-time low. You know, no one takes time off for the next person. Everybody's in a rush. Everybody's got to get them you know, somewhere and some place because the, uh, some mandate because they're scared, you know, and they want us to be scared. They want to keep us scared, keep us all scared, running scared. So you never have time to act and change things. Well, I hope this video in some small way can help change things. So some people are evil. I'm talking about the people who run things. They have everything running the way they want. And you want to, you know, call this a conspiracy theorist tirade and you know so be it and tune out so it's, it's very it's a very bad very bad place to be physically you know I'm probably you know, okay you know right now but I'm just kind of had it with with you know everything else you know my day starts with getting up listen to the phone ring from all these different people that I've told my situation, told that I have term, a terminal disease, I can't pay my bills, I'm fighting with Social Security to get my money. Call Social Security. Social Security won't even hire enough people to process people's claims. The people tell me from Social Security that, that, that they're overworked, you know, and this is all because somebody else is trying to keep a bunch of money in, in his or her pocket. It's a family. Like those other power families, the DuPonts and, you know, the Vanderbilt's, you know, just all these power people, super power people. It's sad, but it's true. You know, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And people absolutely don't give a damn who they absolutely destroy. It's, it's really tragic. And we decent people need to stand up. Gotta stand up. Do something. Or, or evil will consume itself. So that's where I am, you know. Um, that's me. I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about. I'm doing what I can with those I love. I'm praying my money will come through. I'm praying that somehow this goes away. I feel God's given up on me in some way or maybe whatever he's there's a bigger pot of gold than I can ever envision at the end of the rainbow but I feel like I've just fought all my life I fought against a mother who was very abusive mentally and physically and I fought against you know bullies coming up you know I fought against unfair teachers, unfair professors. I fought against the odds to make it where I, you know, I made it to earn the things I've earned in life. Fought against, you know, massive loss of loved ones, you know, pets, even. And it's just a constant fight for some of us. The doorbell rings a few min moments ago. And I'm thinking that maybe I'm getting a certified letter from the Social Security Administration. No, it's a letter from a goddamn bill collector with more threats. So I called them up and I let them know that I need to talk. I need to talk to that 
somebody who has the power to stop the bullshit you're doing because I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. My hands are locked. I can't work because Social Security will hold that against me while I still wait on that one. Yeah, I never really cared about what people thought about me, man. You know, shame is one of the most dangerous things there is. And so many things aren't done because the fear of what other people will think that should be done to help people. I know this on a very personal level. I don't care what you think about me because I'm fighting for what's right. And I hope this gets in the hands of somebody, you know, who will take offense. I hope so. Or maybe it'll move something in you that needs to be moved. It's but so much, you know, music can take you, the writing, poetry can take you, the trying to exercise when you have the power to can take you. Doing these videos can take you without love. Complete love. Because love is the only thing that really matters and it's the only thing that sustains us and even keeps life going. But love is being overtaken lately. By a lot of horrible things, man. Greed, ego, and lack of justice, and lack of compassion. I don't know how many more of these I'm gonna make, you know. Hopefully, uh, I have something positive to share. Not everything that's to be shared is positive. Hopefully the what comes from it is positive. Or positive sounding I should say. Do the best you can with what you got. Uh, like I always say, you know, try to spread some love. It, it, it ain't gonna hurt you. And it, it's gonna do better more for you than holding it inside. I know it's scary. I know you feel like you're putting so much on the line. But strength will come from where it needs to come.